doorway to Nightmare. Nightmare. Come in. Welcome. I am Artemis Black. The author Glenn Duncan once said that werewolves were more terrifying than vampires. The idea of seeing the human within the beast and knowing that you can't reach them is the real horror. Hey, Sandra, uh, over here. So sorry I'm late, Sheriff. I was up all night with Baldy. <laughs> You and that eagle. Now, how's he doing, anyway? The wing's almost healed. He should be able to go back to the wild in about two weeks. It's always amazed me how well you do with that animal shelter of yours. I've always had a sort of kindred spirit with him. I can't explain it. Well, whatever it is, it's a good thing. I've already ordered your usual <laughs> breakfast, if you could call it that. <laughs> Wheat toast, maple and brown sugar oatmeal, orange juice, black coffee. You can't beat it. <laughs> Old bacon and eggs beat that slop any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you eat whatever clogs your arteries, and I'll eat healthy. So, what's going on with the sheriff's department? Are you kidding? In this town? The closest thing we got to a crime here is when those two old guys get into an argument over their checkers game at the courthouse. That's why I moved here. So quiet and peaceful. Well, there was that one time about seven years ago. Oh, really? I don't think you ever told me about it. Are you sure? Well, then I'll tell you now. Happened out there at Talking Rock. Your favorite fishing spot? Exactly. It seems there was a group of tourists who decided to do some camping out there. And it fouled up my whole weekend fishing trip. Oh, poor baby. Hey, 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 I take my fishing <laughs> very seriously. I'm sorry. Go on. Well, there were six of them in the group. Young, full of life, excited to be there. However, what I found the next morning was, was nothing short of a nightmare. What did you find? They had all been mutilated by something. Wasn't hardly anything left of them. Nice breakfast conversation. But I do have a strong stomach. Hey, Maggie, more coffee over here. I'm the one who had to contact family members. Not one of my favorite jobs. Did you ever find out who or what did it? Well, the doc put it down to some animal, wolf or bear or something. Now that's kind of weird. Well, why do you say that? Because there hasn't been a bear or wolf sighting around here for years, according to my records. Now you see, that's what I said, which only leaves one other theory. Which is? <laughs> Someone in this quaint, quiet little town is a homicidal maniac. Yeah, one good thing did come out of it. Out of a slaughter? What could possibly be good? <laughs> People stayed away from my fishing hole. Our great Sheriff Carter finally decided to come to breakfast. Oh, please tell me you ordered already. Geez, Sheriff, you look terrible. I'm just now getting back from Talking Rock. So, can I expect the fish fry tonight? There was a murder out there last night. What? You've got to be kidding. Young girl, 
about 20, decided to go out and take a walk along the water's edge. A group of Boy Scouts found her last night. God, how terrible. Yeah, that's not the worst part. She was mutilated beyond recognition. Just like those toys from long ago? Yes, just like that. All right, all right now, settle down. I'm getting you dinner. And how are you doing, little one? Now who on earth? Wildlife Sanctuary, Sandra Ross speaking. Man, glad I caught you. Think you could meet me at Talking Rock? Now, you know I don't like to fish. We've had another attack. The male, we think. Not much left of it. What? So why do I need to see it? Now, this time, we have a witness. They claim it was a large, uh, wolf. <laughs> Are you sure that it wasn't just a very big dog? Well, that's why I want you to come out here. We found some prints in the dirt, but they sure don't look like any animal prints I've ever seen. In what way? Well, I've never seen an animal with five toes before. Being a nocturnal creature by nature, I often find myself in dark alleys, forests, and even cemeteries. I have never run into a werewolf, but I'm always hopeful. I'll be back with Act 2 shortly. Andrew Paul Williams once wrote, But when the moon is waxing and all the world's asleep, through woods and fields, the werewolf will creep. So, Sandra, what'd you find out? I checked all the cameras and got, well, nothing. Not even one picture of this thing? Not one. Look. I showed the pictures of those paw prints to a friend of mine in Newport. He was completely stumped. There was one thing, though. Oh, at this point, anything will be helpful. One of those traps I have set was sprung last night. Whatever got caught managed to get away. Ah, uh, damn. Uh, hey, Maggie. How about some more coffee over here? By the way, Sheriff, what happened to your hand? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that. Would you believe I caught it in the door this morning? It hurt like hell. I bet it did. Hopefully it doesn't affect your fishing. Nah, nothing can stop me from fishing. Not even some marauding animal. I'm not sure that it is an animal. Well, you got any ideas? I did a little research, Sheriff. Seems that those killings, to use your words, a long time ago, Weren't the only one. Ah, so you found out the town's little secret. Okay, you're right. There have been others. But look, my hands have been tied by the city council and the mayor. Well, this town thrives on tourists, and if something like a, you know, a bunch of killings ever got out... It... Oh, I get it. I completely understand. What seems strange to me is that after those Taurus were killed, there wasn't another one until... Until... what? Where have you been all this time, Sheriff? You just got back last month. They gave you your badge back. No election, no questions, nothing. Now why is that? Uh, I had a brain tumor, all right? What? And I was diagnosed with it right after all that took place. Inoperable. And so I did some checking and I found another doctor who said that he could cure me. Which he obviously did. So does that answer your question? Just curious. 
Yeah, speaking of being curious, uh, what happened to your hand? Accidents do happen. Animal bite. You know, I do run a wildlife sanctuary. Of which you took over only recently. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just an observation. Kind of strange we both hurt our hands. <laughs> My left paw, you're right. Well, I thought it was funny. What are you looking at? Hey, give me just a minute. Well, howdy. Uh, how, how you doing? Oh, well, hello, Sheriff. I'm doing all right. Uh, just passing through? Sort of. I'm an artist and thought I just might do some painting around here. Well, I'm Sheriff Carter. I'd like to welcome you to our little hamlet. It is rather nice. Quaint, actually. Yeah, that's... That's what most people say. I, uh, I would like to keep it that way. Look, Sheriff, do you greet all the tourists, or am I just special? What's your name? Well, I really don't have to tell you that, but since you asked me in such a friendly manner, I'm Victor Duncan. Well, nice to meet you. Are uh, you staying at the King's Arms? Well, it's the only place in town to stay. I mean, unless, of course, you have something else in mind. No, not at the moment. Cut yourself shaving this morning? Why do you ask? Oh, that little bit of blood there, on your collar. Yes, shaving. Is that all, Sheriff? For now. What was that all about? Oh, shaving my eye. Come on, Sheriff. He's just a tourist. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Anyway, it seems like you were wanting to say something to me, and now you're just not quite sure how to say it. Can't hide anything from you, Columbo. Okay, I checked. The killings, or at least the new ones we know about, all happened at the same time, and in the same place. I do do my fair share of detective work. That is what they pay me for. Yes, they all happened out there at Talking Rock. Your favorite fishing spot. And something else. They all happened during the full moon phase. The night before, the night of, and the night after. Do you want to say it? Or should I? Oh, Sandra, now, you don't really think that this is a, a, a werewolf, do you? <laughs> if the paw print fits. Okay, you got any suspects? Mulling it over. Do you? Da -da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice night for a walk. Hey there. Need a lift? No, I don't think so. Oh, come on. It's about to pour down rain. You want to get wet? Yeah, okay. So, where were you hitting? Place called Talking Rock. Turn off is just up ahead. Why do you want to go there? Let's just say that I'm hunting. The werewolf legend has evolved over time. Long gone are the full moon wolves who were tortured creatures of the night. But like all legends, they do return, and sometimes with a vengeance. And you return with me for Act 3.
Tommy Cusella once wrote that the notions of the werewolf, both in folklore and popular culture, have one thing in common. It is fear of the unknown and suspicion against strange and unfamiliar people. So, is this the place? This is it. Very quiet. Lonely. Say, is that a cassette player? Yes, it is. Haven't discovered the digital world yet. <laughs> Tape is more pure. Are all of these your tapes? Yes, they are. Recording them myself. Would you like to hear one? Sure. Hope you got some good tunes. Oh, I'm sure that you will find this quite interesting. You can sit over there. So, what do you want to do, honey? Please, just sit there, quietly. <laughs> you want to watch? Well, let me just take this off. Please, don't do that. <laughs> And I can take these off, too. I did ask you. Nicely. Oh, oh, do it! Please, no, Shut up! Shut up! No, 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 no! I did ask you nicely, Kristen, not to do that. You just wouldn't listen. I showed you. Oh, I showed you. Are you not frightened? Why? Should I be? After hearing what I did to her? That does not scare you? Like I said, why should it? What do you keep looking at? The moon. Starting to rise just over that hill. What's so special about that? Hey! Where do you think you're going? I told you. I came up here to hunt. Hey, Maggie, a little more coffee over here, please. Thank you, sweetheart. Any idea who he was? <laughs> well... Wasn't Victor Duncan, that's for sure. Ran his name, but nothing came back. Luckily, the doc was able to get one usable fingerprint from, well, what was left of the body. So? Who is, or rather, was he? Well, his real name turned out to be Albert Black, and he was wanted for questioning in New York. Uh, something about a series of murders that he was a <clears throat> person of interest. So, the serial killer turns into the victim. <laughs> Any suspects? <laughs> Not a clue. Uh, we did find those same strange tracks by the body. Really? Sheriff, can I ask you something? Well, sure, Sand. You can ask me anything. Where were you last night? <laughs> yeah. And I could ask you the same thing. Hey, I have nothing to hide. I was checking the cameras around Talking Rock. Well, now that's funny. I was fishing up there last night. Kind of a curious coincidence, don't you think? So, who could be the werewolf? Was there even such a creature? Or was it just a series of unexplained murders in a small town? As is often the case, we leave that up to you. I'll be back with a final word. I believe that singer Warren Zavon had the right idea. 
You hear him howling around your kitchen door. Better not let him in. A little old lady got mutilated late last night. Werewolves of London again. Our cast included Crimson McKenzie, Winslow Swan, Mark Wheeler, and Gemma Mitchell. The story was edited by Crimson McKenzie, and the production was under the direction of Winslow Swan. And now, a preview of our next tale. I vote that we leave as quickly as possible. Like, right now. We can't. The storm blew the trees down, and the road is blocked. Can't we walk out? Seven miles through the woods, in this storm? Then we are trapped here. And if the legend holds true, we are all going to die here. This is your host. Artemis Black, inviting you to return with us through the doorway to Nightmare for another adventure into the world of your terrifying imagination. Until next time, slumber peacefully. Epilogue. The Butler.